let us discuss the concept of pole and polar now the parabola be y square equal to 4x you can write like this now let us take a point outside p x1 comma y1 now given parabola is y square equal to 4x call it equation 1 through this point let us specify the point also let p x1 y1 be any point now you can see very clearly through this point if you can draw a secant line it meets at the points a comma b that means through p x1 y1 if you draw a straight line it will meet the curve in two points and at this particular points you draw the tangents like this and this is one particular point of intersection so if you write one more secant line like this two more points will come again you draw tangents like this so as many cards you are going to get so many points of intersections you are going to get so line joining of these two like this this is called polar and this particular point is called pole so polar is a straight line straight line is a collection of points collection of points is nothing but locus so locus of these points what are these points now these are the points of intersection of tangents how these tangents are there they are drawn at the extremities of the chord of a circle not a single chord as many chords as possible so together we can say locus of points of intersection of tangents drawn at the extremities of the chords of a given parabola which pass through a given point is a straight line called polar and the fixed point is called pole now you assume that if you take any particular point here x naught comma y naught now for x naught y naught this will become what chord of contact let us write equation of chord of contact equation of chord of contact of let us say some point q x naught y naught is s1 is equal to 0 as per our understandings s1 equal to 0 represents chord of contact and chord of contact exists when the point lies outside and on since the point lies outside you can write y y1 is y y naught is equal to 2a into x plus x naught now this chord of contact always passes through the point p x1 y1 it passes through it passes through p x1 comma y1 substitute now y1 y naught is equal to 2a into x1 plus x naught now you observe we require locus of q x naught y naught that means we need to replace x naught y naught by general coordinates so locus of x naught y naught is y y1 is equal to 2a into x plus x1 this is nothing but s1 is equal to 0 this is polar of p x1 y1 with respect to the parabola y square equal to 4x now you can see very clearly when the point lies outside the polar is intersecting the parabola now if you take a special case when the point lies on it coincides with the tangent so this is not only tangent at p is same as pol polar of p at polar of p that means when the point lies out in on the curve tangent and polar both coincides suppose when you take a point inside again you draw one secant line now the tangents are drawn like this this is first point suppose you draw one more line like this this is one more point like this now line joining of these two will become again this is polar now you are able to see three cases point lies outside point lies on 
and point lies inside. Now, when the point lies outside, polar intersecting the circle. When the point lies on, it coincides with the tangent at the point. When the point lies inside, the polar lies outside. So, these three cases, polar exists in all the three cases, whether outside or on or inside.